A paradox concerning the character and fate of the West confronts every sensitive observer. On the one hand, we recognize a certain dynamism, a luminous, heroic impulse, even a nobility at work in Western civilization and Western thought. We see this in the great achievements of Greek philosophy and culture and in the profound moral and spiritual strivings of the Judeo-Christian tradition. We see it embodied in the Sistine Chapel and other Renaissance masterpieces, in the plays of Shakespeare, in the music of Beethoven. We recognize it in the brilliance of the Copernican Revolution and the long sequence of dazzling scientific advances in many disciplines that have unfolded in its wake. We see it in the titanic space flights of a generation ago that landed men on the moon, or more recently in the spectacular images of the vast cosmos coming from the Hubble Space Telescope that have opened up unprecedented perspectives, reaching back in time and outward into space billions of years and light years to the primal origins of the universe itself. No less vividly, we find it in the great democratic revolutions of modernity, and the powerful emancipatory movements of our own era, all with deep sources in the Western intellectual and spiritual tradition. Yet at the same time, if we attempt to perceive a larger reality beyond the conventional heroic narrative, we cannot fail to recognize the shadow of this great luminosity. The same cultural tradition and historical trajectory that brought forth such noble achievements has also caused immense suffering and loss. For many other cultures and peoples, for many people within Western culture itself, and for many other forms of life on the earth. Moreover, the West has played the central role in bringing about a subtly growing and seemingly inexorable crisis, one of multidimensional complexity, affecting all aspects of life from the ecological and economic to the psychological and spiritual. To say that our global civilization is becoming dysfunctional scarcely conveys the gravity of the situation. For many forms of life on the earth, catastrophe has already begun, as our planet undergoes the most massive extinction of species since the demise of the dinosaurs. How can we make sense of this tremendous paradox in the character and meaning of the West? If we examine many of the major debates in the post-traditional intellectual culture of our time, it is possible to see looming behind them two fundamental paradigms, two great myths diametrically opposite in character, concerning human history and the evolution of human consciousness. As genuine myths, these underlying paradigms represent not mere illusory beliefs or arbitrary collective fantasies, naive delusions contrary to fact, but rather those enduring archetypal structures of meaning that so profoundly inform our cultural psyche and shape our beliefs that they constitute the very means through which we construe something as fact. They invisibly constellate our vision. They filter and reveal our data, structure our imagination, permeate our ways of knowing and acting. The first paradigm familiar to all of us from our education, describes human history and the evolution of human consciousness as a...